Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. Somebody questioned how you could draw this, and I know I'm going to butcher the name, but I looked up the pronunciation and like Varsal Chi. Varsal Chi uh, evidently was a man that uh, kind of invented this pattern. And I'm going to show you two ways to do it. And so this is going to be part one of part two. The first one we're going to do it with this. And I want to need, if you look, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rings. And then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars across the top. So what we're going to do, we're going to take an ellipse tool and we're going to make it an even number. We're going to call it 22. And I'm going to hit P and then put it in the middle. And then I'm going to make the next one. I'm going to control D and I'm going to make the next one 21. And then I'm going to control D. So there's two. Uh, I'm going to have to just make it. So there's 20. There's three, four, five, six. Sometimes my old laptop doesn't keep up. You know what? It would be easier just to uh, blend it. So I'm going to take that first one. Make sure you only have one copy. And put P, put it in the center of the page. And if we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need 22 minus 8. Get out a calculator, and I should know this. 22 minus 8 equals 14. So we need a 1 that is 14. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and make one ring 14. And then I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to go to Windows, Dockers. You know what? No, I don't have to go to Effects and Blend. And I'm going to blend it six times because we already have two, and now we have the eight circles. Now, I'm going to, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and break the blend apart and go ahead and ungroup it. Now we're going to take a two-point line, and I find it easier to put it in the middle, start in the middle and just move it up. And we're going to rotate this guy. So if you double-click on it and get the rotation to here, and this is one part maybe that the, if you drew the line the whole way, you wouldn't have to do that. We're going to rotate it 12 degrees. Then I'm going to control D and duplicate it, and I'm going to make it a negative 12 degrees. So we've got 24 degrees. So now we're going to make a duplicate of that and rotate it uh, plus four. Four degrees. Let's go 348 again and plus four. There we go. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. So now we have the six pattern. When you see in a little bit, the other way is going to be a little quicker. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you'll just kind of use mine as an example, matter of fact, we could take one of those away and it's pretty easy if you do all the bottom line and the top line first. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill in the top line because it's going to go all the way across. Fill in the bottom line, going to go all the way across. That's what's going to join it. Then start here and go down to about there and then go across just two and then start here. So we have that. Now, one thing I did not do and I wish I would have was to group this together. But if we set our nudge factor on like three inches, we can take that and nudge that out of the way. And just, you know what? We're not going to nudge it out one more time. You know what? I'm going to nudge it back. I want to make sure we're here. Let's go like 10 inches. Get it out of the way. Now, grab it. And I'm going to do it twice. And I'm going to go ahead and control G to group it together. Now I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to nudge this back down 10, maybe twice. Now, if we open the transformer, uh, go to Docker, Windows, Windows, Docker's transform, 
We're going to rotate 24 degrees times 14 because we need 15, but we've already got one. So I'm going to set the center rotation. And voila, you have drawn that pattern that quick. So if you want to stay tuned for part two of this, I'm going to show you how to do it maybe a little bit easier way. Even though that's pretty easy once you get it down. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.